Hey y'all, so it's uh, Corey Crow here. Just a short video tonight. Probably just a couple minutes. Um, about to go to bed. As, as y'all know, if you follow me on Twitter, my mom passed earlier in the week. Got a funeral tomorrow. Been sharing some uh, stories about mom. And I wanted to share one tonight before I go to bed. Um, this was a... Pardon me for just one second. I think this is a good story. I think y'all are going to like it. So, when I was a uh, baby, a little one, a wee one, if you can imagine, uh, we were poor. Dad was in college. He worked in construction part-time. We had no money. We lived in Houston. Mom had to find out a way to pass the day. She was a housewife. My mom was always a housewife. She loved being a housewife. She loved taking care of her kids. Uh, she was a great sewer, but she didn't ever really want to work. Uh, we didn't have any money. So dad would be gone all day. She was stuck at home with me as a baby. Um, you can imagine me as an adult. It was hard enough to deal with. Just ask Mrs. TPM. Me as a baby was even worse. So, she had to find out ways to pass the day. So, Mom, what she would do is we would go over to Memorial City Mall in Houston. And she'd walk around the mall. And she'd walk into a different store every day. So, we'd walk around the mall and that was her exercise. Pushing me in the stroller because I was, you know, a wee lad. And couldn't walk. And she'd walk into a different store every day. And, and that's how she'd entertain herself while dad was at school. So we'd walk around the mall. We'd go into one store one day, another store another day. And that was the way that she entertained herself. Uh, she did that to save money. She wouldn't buy anything because we didn't have anything to buy. And that's what she would do. And that's kind of always been my mom. So my mom is one of those people that she just made things work. Um, she never complained. Very strong woman to the end of her life. Uh, I'm probably going to do a little bit longer of a video tomorrow. Uh, the funeral is tomorrow. It's going to be just family, which is perfect because mom hated funerals my mom every time we went to a funeral my mom be like i don't want to be here she'd tell me i don't want to be here i mean my mom always talked we talked about everything she'd be like i hate this this, this is terrible but we go and we'd have a good time um as good a time as you can have i say we had a good time but me and mom would have a good time because we made jokes with each other pretty much is what happened M me and my mom would make jokes the entire time even if it was, you know, so it was like her father's funeral, my granddad, we, we made jokes just to kind of try to lighten the mood. We, we just hated it. But um, I think it's, it's, tomorrow's going to be very good. Um, it's only going to be family. It's only going to be like seven of us, uh, which my mom would approve of. Um, you know, I'm going to go. We're going to do the funeral. We're going to do the interment. I think my dad's getting her a pink casket, which is perfect because my mom's favorite color was pink. And then, you know, we're going to move on because that's what mom would want us to do. We're going to move on on this channel. We're going to do some video poker. We're going to get back to La Bears pretty soon. We're going to get back to Vegas pretty soon. And we're all going to make it through this. For those, those of y'all who don't know, I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> Pardon me. Uh, for those of y'all those who don't know, uh, my mom did not die of COVID-19. Um, she had leukemia. She had AFib. She got a, uh, a pneumonia. It was non-COVID. She was tested. And it was just too much. She fought as long as she could, but, you know, it was too much. Very brave woman. I'm very proud of her. Uh, I'm very proud of my mom, and I'm not ashamed to share this video tonight and tell you that, all that I'm very proud of my mom. She fought for as long as she could, 
in the end, it was a lot of pain and a lot of suffering. And she's out of suffering now, and I'm I'm good with it. Um, probably sharing more than I've ever shared publicly, but I'm very proud of my mom, and I'm not ashamed of that. And I'll never be ashamed of that. And for those of y'all on this channel who follow this, know that if you have loved ones and they're still around, give them a hug if you can. Um, don't ever discount the time you have with your loved ones because it's, it's special. You know, I've got my family, I've got my brothers and sisters and my dad who I'm going to take care of. Um, and I've got my wife who I love very much and I'm never going to begrudge that and I hope y'all don't either and so that's kind of why I'm sharing this video tonight I, w I want everyone who watches this to please understand that the people who love you and your family and your friends and, and your spouses and your girlfriends and your boyfriends and your partners they're very important to you and I want all of y'all to understand this on this channel so I'm going tomorrow. I'll probably be offline. I'm going to do some video poker coming up. I promise it's not just going to be my ugly butt here talking to you. I might even talk Mrs. TPM to showing up on camera. Um, make it a little dog videos. Y'all saw the dogs the other night. Know that I'm good. Um, I miss my mom. Yeah, but I'm good. And I'm going to be good. Um, I've still got my wife. I've still got my brothers and sisters. I've still got my dad. I've still got everything that, I, you know, that I need to go on. And we're going to be back in Vegas soon. We're going to be back at LaBerge soon uh, in Lake Charles. We're going to be doing all this stuff soon. We just all got to kind of hang together. So all y'all watching. Be safe, be healthy, and I'll talk to you later. Bye. I'm going to say.